Hello everyone, I am Adrija. Welcome to my study room. In this video, we are going to learn about convection of heat. In the previous video, uh, we have discussed about transfer of heat, right? There are three modes of transfer of heat. What are they? They are conduction, convection and radiation. In the previous video, we have already completed conduction. In this video, we are going to learn about convection and in the next, we are going to learn about radiation. So now, let's discuss about convection. What is convection? Convection is also a mode of transfer of heat, right? In the previous video, we have discussed that conduction happens in solids, right? Conduction happens in solid. But how does transfer of heat occurs in liquid and gas? Transfer of heat occurs in liquid and gas by the process of convection, okay? In liquid and gas. So now, let's discuss about convection. So here comes an activity. So, um, let's take a beaker, for example like a beaker half full of water okay and you are heating the beaker you have to heat the beaker then what will happen first the water which is near the flame means the water which is bottom of the uh, bottom of the beaker at the bottom of the beaker is near the flame right so this water will get heated first the whole water in the beaker will not get heated first the water which is at the bottom of the beaker which is near the flame will get heated first okay now what will happen the water will become hot right after that what will happen the hot water will rise up okay the hot water will rise up now what will happen the cold water which is not get heated till now the cold water will come down to take the place take its place the cold water will come down to take its place from the side of the beaker okay now what will happen this cold water will also become hot because so it is continuously getting heated right so this cold water which has came from the sides of the beaker will also also become hot right then what will happen this hot water will again rise up and again the cold water from the sides will come to take its place so this process will continue till the whole water in the beaker gets heated okay this is known as convection the, for example this was an example of water it also happens in air so this is a transfer of it and it is known as convection okay what happens the people living near the coastal area experiences a very interesting phenomena it is also the process of convection only so what happens in the coastal area suppose this is sea and this is land okay this is sea this is land now what happens in the daytime the sun shines brightly so now the air over the sea and the air over the land get heated by the rays of the sun right and the air over the land gets heated faster than the air over the sea okay the air over the land gets heated faster than the air over the sea so what happens the air over the land is become hot and this hot air rises up okay hot air rises up okay so the air over the land get rises up the hot air over the land rises up and what happens here it cannot be vacuum right because the hot air has rised up so what happens the air over the sea the cold air over the sea moves in towards the land to take its place what happens the air over the sea moves in towards the land to take its place okay so over here what happens there is a breeze right a wind because the air is moving right so this is known as sea breeze because the air is moving from the sea to the land this is known as sea breeze it sea breeze happens in daytime okay sea breeze happens in daytime so uh, this is known as sea breeze because the air over the sea moves towards the land okay so this was in daytime now what happens in night time In night time what happens so there is no sun in the night time right so now uh, the air over the sea and the air over the land gets cooled okay in the daytime it was get it getting heated now it gets cooled so what happens the air over the land gets cooled faster than the air over the sea okay in daytime the air over the land gets heated faster than the sea in night time also the air over the land gets cooled faster than the sea 
ओके सो द एयर ओवर द लैंड इज कूल्ड फास्टर दैन दिस सी नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इन अबव द सी द एयर अबव द सी इज हॉट एंड एयर अबव द लैंड इज कूल डाई सो नाउ वट हैपन्स द हॉट एयर ओवर द सी डाइज इज अ The hot air over the sea rises, and then the air over the land goes in to take its place. Okay, the hot air over the sea rises up, and the cool air over the land goes in to take its place. Now, from where to where the air is moving? The air is moving from the land to sea, right? So this is known as land breeze because the air is moving from the land to sea. So it is known as land breeze. and day time it was sea breeze and night time it is land breeze okay so this is a natural example of the process con process convection right because it is the convection only the hot air rises up and the cool air comes in to take its place what we have learned in the activity it was water and this is air because convection happens in liquid and gas both right so this is convection only the sea breeze and land breeze so this was convection we have completed convection in the next video we are going to discuss about radiation um so if you like this video click on like button and stay with me please click on subscribe button thank you